And meanwhile, Dom is fighting Shaw in a parking garage, which is going to get damaged in an explosion. Oh, no. And Dom sees that the parking garage is cracking, so he's like, that's the thing about street fights. The street always wins. Oh. What does that even mean? <laughs> no idea, sir. So then he's going to stomp on the top. I'm a complete moron. The whole entire time, I thought this pitch meeting was the new Fast and Furious movie, so I avoided it like like the plague. I completely avoided it, thinking it's the new, fa new Fast and Furious movie. Finally watched the new Fast and Furious movie, and then I realized when I came back to this pitch meeting, it's Fast and Furious 7. And Dwayne is not in the new Fast and Furious. What's going on, my golden people? My name is Will, and welcome back to PLC 85. If you're new, consider subscribing and hit that notification bell because we do everything new gaming and funny reaction videos. Today, as I said before, we're going to be reacting to Fast and Furious 7. Now, let's finally get into this very funny reaction. Video. Very funny. <laughs> let's just roll the thing. I messed that up completely. <laughs> So, you have a new Fast and Furious movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. And I think you could guess what this one's gonna be called. Uh, okay, let's see. The fourth one was just called Fast and Furious, then we did Fast Five, then Fast and Furious Six, so... Uh? This one... I, <laughs> I, I don't know. Furious Seven. Okay, I don't see how I was supposed to guess that. Do they not go fast in this one? Oh, they go fast, all right. So, but obviously the fury of it all is what's gonna sell this one. Oh, I don't know. This seems pretty arbitrary, man. And this one takes place just after Tokyo Drift. That was the third movie we put out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That came out in 2006 and everybody had flip phones. This isn't gonna be believable at all. Exactly, which is perfect <laughs> for this franchise. What are you talking about? Well, if you throw believability out the window, what do you have left? I don't, I don't know. Something unbelievable. Oh, That's that does true. sound like it makes sense. Okay, what happens in this thing? Okay, so you know that bad guy Owen Shaw from the last movie? Yeah, he was thrown out of a plane and died. Well, we never showed his body, so he's in a coma now. Oh. Yeah, and so his brother Deckard Shaw goes to visit him in the hospital and he's like, I'm gonna get revenge, brother. Don't you worry, just recover. Nice brotherly love, sure. And then we're gonna reveal that this guy killed a bunch of people in the hospital and totally messed up the place because he's such a badass. Oh, I feel like that's gonna make it harder for his brother to recover. They're gonna have to move him to another hospital. Yeah, but it's gonna look cool. That's a good point. So then this new Shaw guy goes to steal some information from that Hobbs guy and they get into a big fight that ends with Hobbs falling like 10 stories onto a car. Oh my god, so from that height, his body would, like, explode, right? Actually, no, because he's Dwayne Johnson. He just has a couple of broken bones. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Anyway, so then we're going to meet up with Dom and Letty, and she still has amnesia, but he's making her do fun things to kind of jog her memory. What kind of stuff are we talking about? Race wars. What? So they go to a street race called Race Wars, and she wins a race against Iggy Azalea for some reason. Very fun. We should maybe give another thought to the name of that race. I, I don't think we should give another thought to any of this. Fair enough. So now Shaw is acting hunting the whole gang and he's gonna try to blow up Brian and Dom with a bomb but they don't die. Oh were they far away from the bomb? No they were right next to it. So they're hurt. Not even a scratch. Huh. So now they're really angry at this Shaw guy and they want to kill him because he also killed Han. Oh very rude. Don't kill Han. That's super rude. Yeah so Shaw shows up in Han's funeral and Dom gets into this big chase with him that ends up with them driving into each other head on at full speed. Oh my god are they okay? No they both die because that's how that would play out in real life. Oh wow. Ow. No, I'm kidding. They're both completely fine, obviously. <laughs> oh, okay, good. So just then, this mysterious guy named Mr. Nobody shows up, and he's like, Dom, I need you to work for me, and if you do, we'll help you find Shaw. I thought Shaw was right there. He was, but Mr. Nobody scared him away. So... Okay. So Mr. Nobody wants to get some technology called the God's Eye, which could track anyone anywhere with facial recognition. So someone sure. could just wear a mask and hide from it? Yeah, but nobody's gonna do that. Why? Because that works. Reasons. So Mr. Nobody's like, if you get me the God's Eye, I'll let you use it to track Shaw. The guy that's hunting them? Yeah, this guy's hunting them hard. He's gonna keep showing up wherever they go. Oh, he is? Yeah, they desperately want to locate this guy, but he keeps getting in the way of that by showing up. Alright, well I hope they find him. Same here, sir. So to get the 
God's eye, they need to get this hacker, Ramsey, who's the one who made it. Okay. And Ramsey's being transported by some terrorists in some mountains, just surrounded by security. Well, it's gonna be hard for them to even get there. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely Daily an inconvenience. inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, they're gonna put some big parachutes on some cars and drop out of a plane. That's something they've trained to do? Well, no, this is such a specific thing that obviously it's the first time they're doing it. And none of them die in this attempt. They're all able to navigate parachuting cars for the very first time without incident. Yeah, because see, they used to do underground illegal street racing, so they're qualified the for this kind of thing. That makes sense. So then we're going to have this big, exciting car chase, and Shaw is going to show up, as he does. So how does Shaw even know about this stuff? Does he have God's Eye technology? Unclear. So eventually, <laughs> Brian is going to find Ramsey, and it turns out she's a pretty lady. Oh! Yeah, when I said hacker earlier, you probably pictured a nerd, didn't you? I did. I pictured a nerd when you said hacker. Yeah, so the twist here is that she's a pretty lady. Oh, a rousing plot twists are tight. And so tight. then Dom's gonna get cornered by a bunch of cars and he's gonna escape by driving off a cliff. Oh my God, is he okay? Yeah, obviously. I should probably stop asking that. So anyway, then they need to go to Abu Dhabi. <laughs> Why? Well, cause we need another big action set piece. Oh, okay, gotcha. So it turns out that Ramsey gave an important tech thingy to a billionaire friend who put it in a sports car in a skyscraper. Very exciting. So they sneak into this fancy party that's happening while Tej hacks into the computer mainframe or something. That's something he knows how to do? Yeah, because he used to be involved in illegal underground street races, so he's qualified for this kind of thing. Oh, okay. And then Letty's gonna get into a fight with Ronda Rousey, because she's popular right now. Can she act? Oh, I have no idea, but she's popular right now. Fair Very enough. Important. And so Letty's gonna do some world-class MMA fighting, and even Tej is gonna do some world-class martial arts stuff. Look, I gotta be honest here, I don't feel like their background in street racing is a good enough explanation for the international spy skills they're all showing. Okay. Okay, so then imagine whenever they're not on screen, they're in a dojo or in computer science classes. That works for me. So then Brian and Dom are gonna fly a car in between several I buildings. This part. Oh, that doesn't that feel like it would be physically possible fun. at all. I feel like I can't emphasize how little that matters. Oh, okay. Know, so right? now the good guys have the amazing. god's eye and they go attack Shaw, but it turns out it was an ambush. Oh no. Yeah, and so now Shaw and the terrorists have the god's eye, so things are gonna get pretty serious. Wait, why'd they bring the actual god's eye with them? Couldn't someone be tracked? Shaw remotely. Well, I want the bad guys to get their hands on it, so they're gonna bring it with them. Understandable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then what happens? Well, Dom's gonna be like, it's time for one last ride, which is meaningless, because we're gonna make 25 more of these. <laughs> but that's gonna sound very cool in the trailer. <laughs> Literally the only reason I'm including that line. So then the bad guys are gonna be after them with an attack helicopter and a predator drone. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. And Hobbs is gonna see this on the news, so he flexes out of his cast and joins the fight. What? Well, this is Dwayne Johnson, right? So this is probably the most believable part of the movie, to be honest. Oh yeah, it kind of is. And so Letty and Ramsey are being chased by this drone thing, and he's gonna drive an ambulance off an overpass right in time to crash into this thing. How did he know exactly when and where to drive that thing? Unclear. So then he rips a minigun off the drone and starts shooting at a helicopter. Oh boy. And meanwhile, Dom is fighting Shaw in a parking garage, which is gonna get damaged in an explosion. Explosion. Oh no. And Dom sees that the parking garage is cracking, so he's like, that's the thing about street fights. The street always wins. Oh. What does that even mean? <laughs> no idea, sir. So then he's gonna stomp on the top of the parking garage, which specifically crumbles to crush Sean under the rubble. How did he know it wasn't gonna crumble under him as well? I don't know. Oh, an extremely precise stomp. So then Dom gets in his car and does this crazy jump and leaves a bag of grenades on the terrorist's helicopter, and then Hobbs shoots it and the whole thing explodes. How did Hobbs see the bag from that far, let alone know it was full of explosives? You know what, never mind. So then Dom crashes his car, so he's in rough shape. Okay, that's, I feel like he's yeah. constantly crashed his car throughout the whole movie. Yeah, but now the movie's almost over, so we're gonna be like, oh, maybe it hurt him this time. Did it? Of course not. Okay, right. Yeah, Brian's gonna be giving him CPR, and Letty's gonna be like, get off of him. I'm gonna tell him how much I love him and see if that works. And that makes him feel better? <laughs> yeah, the power of love is much more effective than CPR in situations like this. Oh, good to know. And then Hobbs is gonna put Shaw in prison. Wasn't he just crushed under a collapsed parking garage? Yep. No further questions. Fantastic. So this Shaw guy is like a pretty intense villain, huh? Oh yeah, this guy killed Han, so he's irredeemable. Sounds that way. Unless people like the character, in which case we'll definitely find a way to redeem him and bring him back. Of course. There we go. <laughs> Guys, I really, like, I don't think anybody goes to Fast and Furious movies expecting believability at this point. I miss the, I personally miss the days of just street racing, and I understand they take it to a whole new level when it comes to this 
espionage action and i think that's really cool don't get me wrong but i think they should tone it back after this movie because they said they're going to be making two more and at least mix it let's get a proper mix let's get a proper fast and furious movie i don't know maybe i'm old-fashioned maybe i'm old school maybe i'm thinking about the very first fa fast and furious and just wanting to come back i want street racing i want these elaborate stunts like street racing elaborate stunts kind of like when you were playing need for speed because i thought that was the big rip on fast and furious it was like a big rip from need for speed you remember playing that very first need for speed on the playstation if i'm if i'm if i'm not mistaken that's the first one i played and i remember jumping from one mountain to the other mountain and i thought wow that was the coolest thing i have ever done in a video game at that time i want elaborate street racing over espionage over these big massive action scenes that's my belief that's what i want that's my opinion but what's yours tell me in the comments below as always don't forget to like share comment do all the good stuff my name is will don't forget guys where there's a will there's a way stay golden my friends and thank you for watching